Well, welcome back to the Fly Fishing Podcast. I got a Thai version of uh, John Barr's tongue teaser. Uh, what makes this different is I'm using a, a TMC Temiko uh, jig hook. Um, well, the original is tied on a, a straight, straight hook, and I do make a slight colour change, which I found has been important this year when I've been fishing in terms of the bead. So without further ado, I'm going to whack this bead on here. It's a little orange bead, uh, which we'll see when I get in here. Pull it through, pull it back down. There we go. An orange glow bead. Um, that's a 0 0.15 of an inch bead. Um, or to our European friends in millimetres that's a 2.5 mil and I'm using a, a funky bead tie fine beads a nice hot orange I'm going to use black silk I just want to secure that bead behind the, the head there now the idea of this is It takes a fly down nice and quickly because it's a tungsten bead. I'm going to put a gold rib in here. It's always easier to pinch a bit more on and cut it off if you're trying to get materials on. And then for the tail, I'm going to use white goose biops. I'm just going to Put those on in an X formation. I'm just crossing it over so we get that spray out at the back. Don't worry if it's gone down a bit. I'll do another one in the other direction. I'll come back over this. And I say, don't worry if they're going down slightly, just take your thread underneath them and pull them back up like so. That will help spray them yet again. Take your thread to the front. Press the biops back. You can cut these off or I quite like just to press them down like so. Particularly with a bead so you're, you're building a bit of a lump up behind the bead there. And there we have it. Um, let's come a bit more secure. Spray them, set them. And for the body, I'm using a dubbing, which is uh, John Rubers uh, dark bronze peacock dubbing, which is a superb dubbing. Um, Go on. Work it quite a bit to get it on. But it has fantastic colours in it. Um, it's one of which I, I highly recommend. I found it very, very successful this season in the UK on the rivers. I want to build up a sort of carrot shape. Now I'm going to take the gold rib. And if you put that dubbing on a bit too loosely, the gold rib's good because it will help just get the dubbing under control. Now you bring that along and down that caught in. There we go. And again I'm not really bothered about building up by the bead because I want to keep that nice and secure. Now this next stage I'm going to reverse the fly over because I'm going to tie the forex on this side and this uh, forex has got a over the top it's got a wing case and along the wing case there is a very fine pearl strip which we're going to add in now because as with all fly tying everything's you've got to think about things in reverse I'm just going to add that in and then for the actual wing case I'm using uh, just a fin skin and this is a mottle buster fin skin I cut it by cutting it 
just under the size of the gape of the hook. I'm going to tie in a bit more than needed. Just trim that off over the bead. Because we do want to leave the bead showing. There we go. Um, dubbing in here and this dubbing is important at this stage because it will help build up a lump against which we're going to set the legs and the legs are they come out of um, a yellow dyed brown partridge feather let's pull a, uh, a strip off then I'm going to put them in quite short, there's a big bit over the end there, against the bead and then tighten, that will spray the legs out. Now I'm going to put those in shorter than you might think it was a happy size, but actually I found that the shorter the legs, the better this pattern works. Um, they don't seem to be concerned about movement the trout when taking this pattern the more concerned about the actual silhouette and I'm just going to do the same on the other side just with the tip of the, the tip pull those down again shorten them I'm going to trim those off there so we now bring a little bit more dubbing in again this will help tidy up the ends and secure everything there we go I'm just going to put whipped finish in here as well, well a couple of hitches at least just to help secure everything I'm going to bring the wing case over a little lump and I'm going to bring the pearl over again now I've doubled my pearl just even a single strip is highly effective again what happens there is you can just see it standing out when I twist and that's because the wing case is helping pearl get highlighted. Now I don't mind the wing casing is going over the top of that. I just snip a bit back. Let's clean so I feel the safer. Well I don't want to do I'd rather leave a bit. Make sure the fly doesn't come apart. Then I'm just going to take Whip finish, and then you can use uh, five minute epoxy, or as I'm going to do here, I'm going to use a uh, loom uh, wader, wader repair, uh, which is a, a UV based cured cement. It's going to dab a little bit on, and this will help that 4x area and the bead all stay together and to that the abdomen and I found you can cure this in the sunlight but I, I just use uh, a UV or UV torch which I picked up um, depending on thickness you might uh, have to do this for 10 seconds or so each side I'd like to give it a little bit longer that'll be pretty well cured now Let's tap that with a bit of card 
nice and hard and there you have it the finished fly and uh, part, part of my thinking about this fly is the colours I've already found are, are superb but uh, it's to take those fish which are feel, feeding very close to the bottom um, jig, jig patterns do help get down and um, also in terms of hooking on the, on the lift having that reversed hook so the hook points up is very good um, you also I think it's a little bit safer for fishing for, for fish in terms of catch or release because you tend to hook them in the top of the lip uh, which is a good area which you can release fish from and you're not tending to do too much damage to them anyway there you have it um, hope to see you uh, soon uh, come and see me at my uh, my website or follow me on Twitter or even on my Instagram uh, which lots of people are tuning into now okay hope to see you soon